Good morning, and welcome to Awake in the Dawn. November 9th, a matter of trust. The Lord directs our steps. Why try to understand everything along the way? Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. During our lives, we will be confronted by the phrase, if you will. While this phrase often seems innocent, there are instances when it contains wrong motives. The Pharisees and scribes used it to challenge Jesus in his ministry when they said things like, if you will show us a sign, if you will do a miracle, and if you will answer this question. This brief phrase still works to discourage the spiritually adventurous heart. Although the question may appear reasonable at first, it may have hidden intentions. For example, I will follow you, God, if you will first permit me to take care of personal business, or I will follow you if you will first supply the resources. These are not statements made from a place of trust and faith. In fact, they sound more like ultimatums. Often the use of the phrase originates from the fear of change, discomfort, lack of control, or because the Lord's will is outside the borders of natural reason. What if Abraham, when asked by God to leave the land of his fathers, had said, If you will supply all my needs before I leave, I will go. What if David, upon hearing he would be king of Israel, had said, If you promise there will be no challenges from Saul, I will. Following the steps of the Lord and experiencing the beauty of his will is a matter of trust in him. When we do follow him wholeheartedly, we will see he never fails. Lord, I pray my trust will be in you today as you lead, even in the things I do not see and understand. Amen. Don't let us yield to temptation. I want to thank you again for joining me this morning for Awake in the Dawn. Please, I encourage you to go to awakenthedawn.com. Take a look at the ministry tools that we have available for you.